there is a shot that uh, a lot of dentists like to uh, do or shoot. In the sense, they want to show the surface texture of the labial surface of the anteriors. So, if you want to show the surface texture of the labial surface of the anteriors, what you have to do is the light has to fall on this, but you cannot be in the same direction. So, the light has to be in this direction, but you cannot be in this direction. You have to be either in this direction or this direction. So, what is going to happen is you will see a lot of reflections coming on the labial surface. Uh, so, if you want to get that surface texture effect on the labial surface of incisors, what we are going to do is, we are going to keep the light source right in front of the incisors like this. So, my central incisors are right in front of my light surface, uh, light source sorry, and I am going to be taking a shot in this situation. All right my light is slightly more higher as compared to my typhoidon or my prosthesis but let me see if I can get it down somehow right uh, why I am uh, sitting in the corner is because I have a lot of space on that side since I have space on that side there is a high chance I can get a black background on that side only right so let me see if we can achieve what we really want you you can hold the speed light in your hand also by the way there is no hard and fast food that you can't. So, let me get it down slightly. Yeah, and I am going to be taking the shot now. Yeah, I am going to be taking one more shot. <coughs> have seen these pictures in leading uh, dentist Instagram stories and stuff like that. So, let us see if we have managed to achieve getting pictures on the surface texture. So, if you remember this was the studio light shot. Yeah, this is the image that I was talking about. A uh, heavy amount of reflection on the labial surface. If you want to show surface textures, for example, if somebody is in anterior aesthetics and you are doing uh, laminous veneers in the anterior region, this is a very good image to have. Right? So, what you can do is just keep the light source in this direction. So, the light source is to be falling on uh, 1121 and uh, 22. That's where my light, light uh, is positioned. Okay? This is the surface texture shot this is another shot that i had taken all right so obviously this is not possible with uh, obviously this is not possible this image is not possible with uh, inbuilt flash because the if you can appreciate the camera is in this direction and the light is in this direction and my prosthesis is like this so you can see there's a triangle formation so what i'm saying is uh, if you want these kind of shots you need to have uh, light which is coming in a different direction than the camera's direction. The light is pointing on the labial surface. So obviously since inbuilt flash is stuck over here, you cannot manage this with an inbuilt flash. So can you do it with a twin flash or a ring flash? The answer to that is yes, yes, yes. Obviously yes you can do it. So I am going to be removing this and I am going to be showing you the same result uh, with a ring flash. So, but in this case, there is a trick. I am not going to be putting or mounting the ring flash on my camera. I am going to be holding it in my hand. So, there are a lot of advantages of using a twin flash or a ring flash. One of them is this. Alright, so see what I am going to be doing now. Yeah, everything is set. Instead of putting my ring flash like this, I am going to be holding it in my hand like this right and we'll be taking the same shot again yeah so we have managed to get the shot i'll just uh, go ahead and show you the shot on my tap yeah so you can remove the ring flash or the twin flash from the lens and take the same shot 
this looks pretty cool so this was with the studio light you can appreciate it's like a dreamy dreamy effect however this is with the ring flash you can appreciate there are shadows over here if you can appreciate that means the light was in this direction that is why the shadows have come beyond the distal part all right the uh, the light is on the label surface and the shadow has come on the distal of the canine so it's very much possible to get these shots with the ring flash or a twin flash also but it's definitely not possible with the uh, inbuilt flash because you cannot remove the inbuilt flash and, and keep it in your hand all right this is also a studio light this is the twin flash so twin flash studio light this is studio light studio light in the sense speed light and sort box this is a ring flash this is ring flash so you can do a lot of stuff with your ring flash and a twin flash provided uh you have the aptitude for it uh, you just have to play around with stuff all right so, so what have we seen so far uh what we have seen so far is uh, uh how to get a black background uh, so you just have to hold the processes and take the shot right in front of you uh, but keeping in mind that the background is empty then we took a shot uh, with a mirror so you can keep the first thesis on the mirror so you can keep it like this and you can get a perfect looking reflection as well so if you don't want the full arch you can still use the mirror if you want only a couple of teeth so in this case i'll be getting the reflection of the teeth as well so we saw full black background full black background with reflection and then we went ahead and saw how to get those surface textures with the soft box and with uh, a ring flash as well